Hey, Buzz! If you're missing the target from there, you want bloody shooting! Oh, it's crap. Oh, it's bloody rubbish! It's rubbish! But how do you react, though, when someone, you know, from your playing staff comes in and says, Boss, I think, you've got, I think you're doing this wrongly? Good. Well, I ask him which way he thinks it should be done. We get down to it, and then we talk about it for 20 minutes, and then we decide I was right. How we doing, people? Long in yet yeah, here. Um, brilliant show last night with uh, Op Fuzz, Early Doors, and Jez. Absolutely awesome show. Uh, check that one out uh, on Op Fuzz's channel because it was a really, really good show. Bit of a uh, bit of forest news today. Uh, I'll be doing a preview video afterwards for uh, the Sheffield United game. Uh, but Forest latest really is um, we've put in another bid for Sangari. Um, don't know whether it's going to get accepted. I do hope so. Um, I have heard that Liverpool are interested now, but that's not saying that on my side. But I have heard there could be some interest. But I've also heard that they're interested in uh, Watak Wataki Endo or somebody. Don't know who that is. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping we can get to uh, Sangari. Uh, also interested in uh, Youssef Fofana, uh, a French international. So you know, so that one's uh, interesting. Playing for Monaco at the moment. So uh, don't know much, that much about him. I'll be honest. So uh, can't really say a great deal about him. But I also know that we are interested in uh, a winger from Juventus. And I forgot his bloody name. Um, something junior. Hold up. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Not done. No. That's it. Samuel Illing Jr. We're also interested in Samuel in it. Samuel Illing Jr. Who's a 19 year old winger. I think he, all this to me just say, says to me basically that um, we're going to be selling Brennan Johnson. And to be quite honest, I'm... I'm over it, to be fair. I'm over it. I mean, he's all right. He's a decent player. You know, uh, he's got a lot to learn. You know, maybe, yeah, give us 50 million and uh, and let him go and then we can build a team. It's not, you know, it's not like we're losing a cane or anything like that. It's not not massive in that respect. But, you know, I, will, I think he will go on to be a really good player, but just not... It just not now. Can we afford to keep a player like that? Maybe not. So, you know, that's uh, fine. I mean, Chelsea are not interested. Uh, Chelsea, uh, Chelsea are actually showing interest in Johnson. So that's now Tottenham, Chelsea, West Ham, Brentford. I uh, believe that's it. Uh, but the Chelsea fans are pretty much why are we wasting our money on this guy? Uh, get Morgan Gibbs White and all that kind of stuff. So. Uh, I don't think they're uh, that impressed with the idea. And to be honest, I um, I can understand it. I can understand it because he is young. He's, he's got a lot to learn. He's got a lot of potential. There's definitely a lot of potential there. It's just trying to show it now. Uh, also, um, Nuno Tavares. Apparently, we're interested in Nuno, Nuno Tavares. Uh, whatever his name is. Uh, so, yeah. That would be a interesting one as well. Um, I can't judge. I can't judge him uh, until he's in a forest shirt. You know, I heard so many bad things about Aurier, uh from Spurs fans saying he was absolute garbage. I mean, he he was absolutely brilliant for us last season. So I mean, I can only really go on that. Um, so yeah, the Brennan Johnson thing. You know, just. One way or the other, just get it done, man. Just get it done. Uh, Finn back is is back after injury. 
um, really decent, promising youngster. Uh, so he's, uh, I don't know whether he'll sort of be in first team contention, but he's uh, definitely back. Brandon Aguilera is um, possibly going to be in the plans. Another player, pick a pass. He, he got good vision as well in the pre seasons. So yeah, that is that is another one that you know looks like he could be something special. Uh, it looks pretty much hundred percent on that uh, Scarpa's going. Um, he's going to be going to Olympiacos, I believe. Uh, I'm seeing loan, but whether that will be uh, whether that will change or not, there's some some reason you know Cooper just doesn't want him. Um, why that is, I don't actually know because we've there's never been anything said on it. But you know, maybe he's just not taken to the Premier League, although he hasn't like had that many games. But maybe he's just not rough and ready enough for a Premier League. I don't know. I don't know what the full story is there. But for me, um, if you've got a player that you're not using, what's why keep them? There's no point really. You might as well just uh, you might as well just let them go. I mean, uh, don't see no don't see no reason to keep them uh, on end just now. I've seen come up um, Nottingham Forest preparing new bid for mil midfielder with an 120 million release clause. Bloody hell! Latest news is reporting. Portugal claim that the Reds have already seen a bid for the midfielder turned down this summer. Well, we definitely ain't going to hit that release clause. Uh, reports Benfica midfielder Florentino Luiz. Um, I mean, all, all already had an offer turned down by the Portuguese club. A uh, 23 year old, uh, according to Portuguese outlet, I've seen a 30 million offer turned down by Benfica, but they have not. Let that put them off the pursuit. The report says that Forrest are ready to raise the offer and make another attempt. It is known that sort of what sort of price the Portuguese club are demanding for the player, but he does have four years remaining on his deal with the club, with a hundred and twenty million pound, hundred and two million uh, euro, sorry, hundred and two million pound release clause. Hmm. Okay. Player himself is is to be keen to increase his game time this season, having been used as a second half substitute in both of Benfica's games so far. I say for something that could benefit Forrest in their hope of signing Florentino this summer. Yeah, I mean, as I always say, if Cooper wants them, then you know, bring them in. Um, that's it, pretty much for the um, Forest news of today. Anyway, the news that I'm i'm sort of getting so it just there's a there's a lot of names coming up i mean there's names that are there one day and then all of a sudden just disappeared off the face of the earth as if aliens have come down and, and fucking took them or something i don't know what that's all about but you get a lot of these links that just you know don't come to anything you know some of these could be that we'll, we'll just have to wait and see on that one i'm, I'm afraid but uh, yeah, other than that, I think uh, that's the forest news covered. I'm going to put another video out there um, for the uh, preview of the game against Sheffield United. I want to do a little bit of uh, looking into Sheffield United, seeing what players they've got and all that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, so that's that's the forest news basically for today. Um, I'm Long Eared Yeti, and uh, I'm out. Catch you later, guys. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. Make sure you uh, go and get onto all those channels, what I said. Hot Fuzz, Early Doors, and Arsenal History and More. Jazz. Jazz it 4K yes, uh, yesterday. Spot on. Absolutely spot on. So get over there. Sub to those guys as well, as well as me, obviously. I hit 50, and, you know, that is a milestone for me. Uh, my uh, target is 51 by the end of the year, so help me out, guys. And that's Long Yeti. Long Yeti? And that's Long Yeti out. Take it easy, guys. Bye. Target from there, you.
you one bloody shooting. Oh, it's crap. Oh, it's bloody rubbish. It's rubbish. But how do you react, though, when someone, you know, from your playing staff comes in and says, boss, I think you've got, I think you're doing this wrongly? Good. Well, I ask him which way he thinks it should be done. We get down to it, and then we talk about it for 20 minutes, and then we decide I was right. <laughs>